the context of the BBI. Now let us come to the law. Uh, you have been on Twitter uh, saying IBC should not have allowed Mariga. What is the law on Mariga's candidature? How do you see that? Let me tackle this at two fronts. The first question that has been asked is why should the IBC sit as a tribunal to make a decision over itself? Because the returning officer is an IBC official. The truth is that the law permits that. Article 88 allows IBC to make determinations arising from nom nominations. However, I have explained that in my view, that is a jurisdiction that they should cede. It is just inappropriate that a junior officer in your office makes a decision and then they are sued as IBC and as commissioners you sit to make a decision over yourselves. I have suggested that the idea and the jurisdiction on no party nominations should be ceded to the political parties themselves, to the uh, political party tribunal and to the courts. Having said that, I listened to the decision that was made by my friend Chebukati and, and his team, and I think it was completely wrong. It's so wrong on so many fundamental ways. First of all, they cited Article 38. Article 38 that gives everybody a right to vote, a right to be a candidate. And they explained that there should not be administrative bottlenecks to that right. In that respect, they were saying that the fact that uh, Mariga had now registered to deny him the opportunity to be a candidate merely because he registered after the vacancy was declared is an administrative bottleneck. Now, that is wrong. Because right now, any voter who has registered in Kibra since the vacancy was declared cannot vote. So you cannot use Article 38 and say it is right for one to be a candidate, but it is not one right for one to be a voter. That is doublespeak. There's a second reason. Section 5 of the Act is clear that once a declaration has been made, then two things cannot happen. You cannot, uh, you cannot register but and you cannot revise the register. Mushima, I wanted to ask this question because the IBC made two choices. First, they accepted the candidature. Then there was a review. Why is the contradiction so evident? Why? Well. I mean, well, the, in fairness to them, the decision was made by the returning officer, as a returning officer, which he's entitled to make, and I think it was the right decision. But the law allows the IBC commissioners to review that decision. A couple of years ago, when Kathy Kilonso was in a similar position, the returning officer denied, refused to accept, just like with the Mariga situation. When then it was brought to the commissioners, they upheld that decision. They refused. When it was taken to the High Court, three judges of the High Court maintained that decision. And what they said was that when you apply to be a voter, the slip you get, that acknowledgement slip, is merely evidence that you have applied. It is not evidence that you have been accepted to be a voter. Because there are about five other processes that must follow. First of all, they must check if your name already appears in any other register. Secondly, they must then gazette those names. Thirdly, there's a period of verification. Fourth, there's a period of any complaints by anybody, either for inclusion or exclusion. And only after all that is done, then the register is revised. No.